There you have a bunch of muscles in your lower leg, the calf muscles in the back, the muscles that flex your foot in the front of the shin. There's also muscles which I'll talk about in a minute on this, the side of your leg. Um, all of these muscles collectively are called the extrinsic muscles of the foot. Extrinsic meaning that the, the belly of the muscle is not in the foot itself, but they move the foot. So the only part that would cross the ankle joint would be the tendon. So you've got some tendons that run from the muscles on the front of the shin over the front of the ankle that attach to various points in your foot that allow you to flex the foot. You can feel there's one tendon here on the, the, front, the, uh, on the front of your ankle. The most prominent tendon is a tendon of a muscle which is called the tibialis anterior. So if you come back up here onto the shin maybe um, about a half, a half an inch down from this bump of bone at the, underneath the kneecap. Slide your finger about half an inch laterally or to the side. So a little bit more to the side. No, that's to the inside. You want to go towards the outside. There you go. Um, and then if you flex your foot, you'll feel that muscle contract underneath your fingers. That's your tibialis anterior. And when you do that, you'll see this tendon here in the front of the ankle pop up. So the tendon crosses the ankle and then it attaches here onto the base of the first metatarsal. So not the head of the first metatarsal, not the ball of the foot, but this, this part of the metatarsal here. So when it contracts, it flexes the foot, but it also inverts the foot. In other words, it lifts the inside of the foot. So you'll see if you flex your foot and lift the inside of the foot, you'll see that tendon pop out kind of very, very strongly. Do you see that? Okay. Now, if you come around, um, or come back up here onto this knob, underneath the, the, the kneecap, move laterally around to the head of the fibula, slide your finger down about one inch or so, and now push out through the ball of your big toe. So, in other words, you're going to evert your foot, which would mean to lift the outside of the foot, you'll feel a muscle pop up underneath your fingers. Can you feel that? So that muscle, um, you've got a couple of them here. Um, these are called the peroneals or the fibularis muscles. The old name was the peroneals and then they changed the name to fibularis a few years ago. So you'll, you'll, you'll see references to both. So this, these muscles, we'll just talk about one of them which is called the fibularis longus or the peroneus longus. The muscle belly attaches to the fibula here its tendon runs behind the outer ankle bone like this and then it passes underneath the sole of the foot like this and it attaches to the um, to the first cuneiform and the the ball of, and the sorry the, the base of the first metatarsal here so if I show the path of the muscle runs something like this, down the outside of the lower leg, behind the outer ankle bone, wraps underneath the foot, and then attaches here onto the base of the first metatarsal. So when I contract this muscle, if I pull like this, you can see it's going to pull the inside of the foot downward, and it's going to lift the outside of the foot upward. So it's going to evert the foot like that. You see that? Okay. And then remember the tibialis anterior, it attaches here onto the front of the shin. Its tendon passes along the front of the ankle and then it attaches very close to where this peroneus longus attaches. So these two muscles can work together to steer the foot. If I pull on the outside, that's going to evert the foot, which would mean to lift the outside of the foot. If I pull on the inside, that's going to invert the foot, lifting the inside of the foot. So eversion, inversion. So it's like the reins of a horse. Right? I could steer the foot by pulling this way or pulling this way. Okay. Those muscles, those muscles, more or less, I mean, this is more or less. Um, so these muscles are sometimes referred to as stirrup muscles. In other words, you remember the old stirrup pants? Right? <laughs> like, they would go underneath the sole of the foot. So you can imagine that if you were to contract both of these muscles, they would create a lift underneath the, the arch of the foot. 
So if they both contract simultaneously, you're welcome. If they both contract simultaneously, they would help to lift the arch of the foot. 